Good morning, everyone. Uh, congratulations on admission to doctoral program in human biology. My name is Tomaku Mizuno from Faculty of Medicine. I'm a chair of the curriculum committee. I will show you um, the overview of the curriculum in HPP and lecture uh, in HPP, including uh, specialized subject and Japanese ability. At first, uh, I explain uh, A and object, object uh, again. <coughs> hmm. A and objective in HVP uh, is to train up specialists with integrated technical knowledge and research ability in life science, medicine, chemistry, and computing technology. You are required to study the mechanisms of maintenance adaptation of inheritance of human life so that uh, you can lead the way of sustainable human life in the global society. Mm. <clears throat> Our curriculum is designed to cultivate um, in students a spirit of enthusiasm and integrity, uh, communication skill, key eyes, and serendipity as well as, well as uh, profession, knowledge, and te technology. <coughs> uh, this is a full uh, overview of uh, the curriculum. Important point, uh, course study and uh, grid. Grid, uh, uh, regarding to grid, uh, for sensei talk, uh, we'll talk later. Uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, explain uh, credit only. <coughs> you are required to master uh, medical science, life science, uh, material science, and computational science. This slide shows a requirement for PhD. They also will be uh, explained by uh, Ho Sensei. Uh, here I only talked about graduate. You have to uh, get more than um, 60 credits in the first two years. And you have to get more than 72 credit before uh, qualifying examination too. <clears throat> In this slide, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, your first two years. Uh, you must earn more than 60 credit, including the following compass, compulsory credit, three credit in initiation subject, one credit from basic subject, 10 credit in medical subject and mathematical and computational subject, 26 credit in specialized subject, <clears throat> and at least five compulsory elective credit from international international subject. <clears throat> this paper shows a school term in 2022. One year is divided to semesters, spring and fall. <clears throat> and each semester uh, consists of three module A to C. Most lecture will be held in uh, during A and B module. C module is used for specialized subject. 
Cluster face to face or online depends on each course. Please check the syllabus uh, and directly contact with the instructor uh, if you have any question. <clears throat> this table shows a specialized subject in the first year. These are located in spring C or fall A to C. C summary of each subject in syllabus. Um, don't forget to study this subject because these are compulsory subject. I'm going to introduce some specialized subject in a few um, next slides. Basic experiment in human biology is held during spring she. In this course, um, through working in the laboratory by uh, run by the faculty member, you should be able to understand the outline of members' research and um, <coughs> experimental uh, principle of um, fundamental exper experimental technologies. <coughs> you are expected to um, select laboratory from multidisciplinary fields, laboratory in faculty medicine, faculty of life science and environmental science, and uh, faculty engineering information and systems. You performed one week training in each laboratory. Sigma office will ask you preferred laboratory during April. After determining uh, the assignment, contact respective faculty member by yourself. Uh, next, I'm talking about uh, specialized uh, special lectures and uh, special seminars. Um, in these uh, subjects, you attend uh, the research program meet, uh, research progress meeting or journal club. Um, important point is um, uh, uh, you have to um, join more than three laboratory each uh, subject. In special practice in human biology one, um, you run method and acquire basic uh, knowledge required for selecting uh, topics for the, uh, your dissertation through tutorial with initial mentor. <coughs> Details, uh, you have to write a report under the guidance of um, your initial mentor. The details um, to uh, write a report will be informed um, in next February. And um, I will show you uh, your initial mentor later. As I showed uh, previous slides, um, you have to get more than 60 credit in the first year. Your task is heavier than that of student in other program. For example, uh, the student at master program um, in medical science, which you call frontier, uh, requires 30 credit. Thus, you have to uh, work hard. This slide shows your schedule in the first two years. Um, in this slide, I show only the uh, initiation subject or basic subject and uh, specialized subject. 
Um, in the first year, you study initiation subject, initiation seminar, uh, world science leaders seminar, business re leaders seminar. Uh, um, this uh, compulsory subject. And you have to um, study ex experiment um, in human biology in spring semester. Um, um, special seminars, special lectures, laboratory training, um, special and special practice uh, uh, held in um, fall semester. At the end of the first year, your academic advisor will assign. I will explain academic advisor later. I said that uh, you have to get more than 60 credits in the first two years. However, I recommend here uh, you should get more than 40 credits in the first year so that you can concentrate laboratory work and pay attention to qualifying examination in the second year. Uh, this slide shows um, the credit getting pattern uh, you are seeing here. Uh, as you can see this, uh, you should uh, work hard and get uh, credit. This table shows uh, your initial mentor. <coughs> the role of initial mentor uh, not only um, the guidance of special lecture in human biology one, but also consultation of your daily tracks. You will keep uh, you will be given a desk in initial mental laboratory and uh, you can interact with other students. Especially an uh, international student will be supported by uh, student tutor. Student uh, tutor um, can help your shopping and taking a uh, course, for example. You will prepare the, the dissertation under the guidance of academic advisor. Academic advisor will be assigned at the end of the first year. Based on the experiments, experience in various laboratory, you have to seriously consider the lab you want to join. One professor can take up to two students each year. Once you decide and academic advisor is assigned, start this work as soon as possible. To find up the list of HDP professors, please uh, refer to uh, this uh, site. <coughs> you can use a list of HDP professor displayed in this uh, website. To graduate HDP, you have to obtain high English ability. This list shows English Ability Test Score to Graduate HPP. You should get one of these uh, as soon as possible. Getting a high score will lead not only to your graduation and also to improvement you are running in HPP. <coughs> Finally, uh, we recommend international students to run 
Japanese. Japanese ability is not required for the study in HPP. However, Japanese speaking ability will open up your future because Japanese companies expect that your employees have enough ability to speak Japanese. You can attend lectures for Japanese language in Center for Educational Global Communication. If you have any question regarding to um, curricula, I'm glad to explain again um, individual explanation uh, by uh, explanation by or Japanese or using uh, email. That's all. Thank you.